series and parallel circuits. In this lecture, I will teach you very unique concept of series and parallel circuits which you will not find in any video or in any book. Firstly, let me teach you the basic concept of series circuit. Well, consider this imaginary circuit. We call this circuit as series circuit because here the resistors are connected in a series way or one after another. Now let the ends of this circuit is connected to a 4 volt battery. This 4 volt battery means that this battery will provide 4 joule energy to a unit charge in order to move them from a positive terminal to a negative terminal. Now consider two balls at high potential region. Let this one ball is one unit charge and this ball is another unit of charge. We know that this battery will provide 4 joule energy to this ball and 4 joule energy to this ball. Remember that voltage is the amount of energy per unit charge. Here let this is point A. We say that at point A current is 2 units or 2 balls and voltage is 4 joule per ball. As a result of this energy these two unit charge or two balls will start moving and current is produced. Now here this is a resistor. It will consume the energy of the current or ball. Let me say that this resistor consumed two joule energy of this ball. Remember that I call the resistor as a robber R because they always steal energy from the charge. Here this resistor has absorbed 2 joule energy from this ball. We call it as 2 joule voltage drop because this resistor absorbed 2 joule energy. Hence these two balls will pass this resistor or rubber. Here this ball or charge has 4 joule energy but this ball has 2 joule energy. Now there is another rubber R or resistor R. It will consume our steel. 2 joule energy of this ball. So we call it as 2 joule voltage drop because this resistor absorbed 2 joule energy. Hence this ball will pass this resistor and will reach here. Let I call this point as point B. Now at point B the current is still 2 units or 2 balls but the voltage is 2 joule per ball. Here if I ask you what about total current and total voltage in the circuit? Can you guess the answer? Well, it is very simple. We can see that at point A, the current is 2 units or 2 balls. At point B, the current is also 2 units or 2 balls. Thus, the current is same throughout the series circuit. Secondly, we can see that at point A, the voltage is 4 joule per ball while at point B, the voltage is 2 joule per ball. It means that voltage is not the same in the series circuit. Rather, total voltage is equal to the sum of individual voltage drop. For example, here the voltage drop is 2 joule and there the voltage drop is 2 joule. Now 2 joule plus 2 joule equals 4 joule. So the total voltage drop is 4 joule in the circuit. Therefore note it down that current is same throughout the series circuit and voltage is equal to the sum of individual voltage drop. Now let me teach you the basic concept of parallel circuit. Consider this imaginary circuit. We call it parallel circuit because here the resistors are connected in parallel way. Let the ends of this circuit is connected to a 4 volt battery. Consider these two balls. We already know that this 4 volt battery will provide 4 joule energy to a unit charge which we call voltage. For example, battery will provide 4 joule energy to this ball and battery will provide 4 joule energy to this ball. Let this is point A. We say that at point A the current is 2 units or 2 balls. While well, the voltage is 4 joule per ball. Now these 2 balls will start moving in the circuit. At this point, 
there are two paths for the flow of current hence current is divided let one ball move along this path and another ball move along this path now i select two points parallel to each other let this is point b and this is point c at point b we can see that the current is 1 unit or 1 ball while the voltage is 4 joule per ball secondly at point c we can see that the current is 1 unit or 1 ball while the voltage is again 4 joule per ball here if i ask you what about the total current and voltage in the parallel circuit can you guess it well it is very simple we know that at point a current is equal to 2 units at point b current is equal to 1 unit and at point c current is 1 unit it means that current does not remain constant in parallel circuit thus we say that current is divided in a parallel circuit secondly we know that at point a the voltage is 4 joule at point b the voltage is 4 joule and at point c the voltage is again 4 joule it means that voltage remains constant throughout the parallel circuit thus we say that voltage is constant in parallel circuit therefore note down that current is divided in a parallel circuit while voltage remain constant in a parallel circuit now let me teach you combination of resistors in series circuit and parallel circuit well consider these three resistors connected in a series way we have already learned that current is constant throughout the circuit while voltage is equal to the sum of individual voltage drop now remember that i cannot consider the constant quantity i mean i cross the constant quantity which is current secondly i say that voltage drop across this r1 resistor is v1 voltage drop across this r2 resistor is v2 and voltage drop across this r3 resistor is v3 now i write total voltage is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 in physics we call total voltage as equivalent voltage which is v1 plus v2 plus v3 now according to ohm's law v equals i into r so equivalent voltage is equal to i e r e v1 equals r1 r2 v2 equals i2 r2 v3 equals i3 r3 we know that current is constant in a series circuit so i can sell current on both the sides i get equivalent resistance is equal to r1 plus r2 plus r3 the total resistance or equivalent resistance in a series circuit is equal to the sum of all the individual resistance on the other hand consider these three resistors in a parallel circuit we have already learned that voltage remains constant across each resistor in a parallel circuit while current is divided in a parallel circuit so i cross the constant value and i consider current for example the current passing through r1 is i1 the current passing through r2 is i2 and the current passing through r3 is i3 now what about the total current i in the parallel circuit well i write total current is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 our equivalent current is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 now according to ohm's law current equals v upon r so i write equivalent current is v upon r e i1 equals v1 upon r1 i2 equals v2 upon r2 and i3 equals v3 upon r3 we know that voltage across each component is constant in a parallel circuit i cancel v on both the sides i get 1 upon r e equals 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r3 
Thus, equivalent resistance in a parallel circuit is equal to reciprocal of individual resistance. Hence, noted down combination of resistors in a series and a parallel circuit. Lastly, let me teach you that how can we calculate resistance in a series and parallel circuit? Well, consider this electric circuit. Now, current will start moving from positive terminal. This resistor is connected in a series way. Here, at this point, the current is divided into two paths. Here, the current is I1 and there, the current is I2. At this point, the current will rejoin. Hence, these two resistors are connected in parallel way. At this point, the current will rejoin. Hence, this resistor is connected in a series way. Firstly, I find the equivalent resistance of parallel resistors. We know that it is 1 upon Re equals 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2. R1 upon Re equals 1 upon 6 plus 1 upon 12. After taking LCM, I get 1 upon Re equals 3 upon 12. Now shifting denominator to numerator, I get Equivalent resistance is equal to 12 upon 3 or equivalent resistance is equal to 4 ohm. So the total or equivalent resistance of parallel resistors is 4 ohm. Remember this important MCQs. Total or equivalent resistance in a parallel circuit is always less than individual resistance. I mean individual resistance is 6 ohm and 12 ohm while total resistance is 4 ohm. Here, in the circuit, the resistance of these two resistors act as a 4 ohm. Let me repeat it. Here, in the circuit, the resistance of these two resistors act as a 4 ohm. Finally, we can easily find the total or equivalent resistance of this circuit. Equivalent resistance equals R1 plus R2 plus R3. Here, R1 is 2 ohm, R2 is this 4 ohm, and R3 is 6 ohm. After calculation, I get equivalent resistance is equal to 12 ohm. Thus, the equivalent resistance of this circuit is 12 ohm. Therefore, using this method, we can easily find the equivalent resistance of any circuit. I hope that you have learned all about series and parallel circuits.